Good morning, my lovely, lovely Libras. It's Lori, and I'm here to do your quick reading for you. I hope you guys are all happy, healthy, having some fun. I do have a little dog <clears throat> in the background just barking up a storm. Not sure what's going on. But I hope it stops soon. Somebody just went outside to check on it, I guess. Let's see what signs you're dealing with. Virgo, Leo, Sagittarius, and Capricorn. I do see Libra down there. Okay, so let's see what your overall energy is to start this reading. Chariot, change of direction, the sun, the king of swords, the four of swords, the ten of pentacles, the eight of pentacles, the ace of swords, the Empress and the Ten of Cups. Wow, this looks really impressive. Before you came in to hear this message, you had some sort of new fresh start, an Ace of Pentacles. So you laid the foundation for something. Okay, Emperor or Empress. Your long form uh, for the day, which I've called Wake Up Call, You Can't Fix Them. He had the emperor and empress in there. You may want to check that out. Six of cups. So this looks different. This looks different. This looks like, okay, that was a massive karmic situation there. You may want to go check it out to see if that's your message, but this is almost the opposite of what um, the other reading was saying. So this one is saying that you are trying to uh, take this relationship that you are currently in, in a new direction. You're looking to find peace and harmony within this relationship. And you're willing and determined to do whatever it takes to make that work. You've got the sun card here, okay, because of the chariot energy there. You are determined to go in a new direction, but you want to do it together. You want to stay in this relationship with this person, okay? You are looking for peace and happiness, a return to a time when... Life felt easier, clearer, more fortunate, you know. You're seeking some sort of truth here. And you're you're maybe putting your heart aside a little bit um, to think clearly on how to make this work. To come up with solutions, you know, using your head, I'm hearing, and not being ruled by your emotions. All right, so I do see here the Four of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles. The Four of Swords to me is always a forgiveness card, okay? It's about letting go of the pain, the disappointment, the hurt, whatever is happening here, okay? Taking a break from all the stress, all the worry, all the painful things that have been happening. And I am hearing this is a completely different relationship than the long form reading. So if that one resonated with you, then this one will not. Okay, do not try to make both of these readings yours. It is not the same. There is absolutely no drug addiction, no alcohol here. This is just a difficult relationship where two people may have um, been on different places because work pulled one this way and kids took the other one this way or whatever it is. It, this is not a leaving situation, okay? There's going to be forgiveness here. There's going to be healing and a focus on the future. Rebuilding off of this beautiful solid foundation that you've had in the past, okay? This is actually a very nice reading here. There is going to be a lot of effort that has already been put into this relationship, but there's going to be some hard work ahead. Okay, but you see that clearly with this eight, the Eight of Pentacles is showing me that there is going to be work, but it's going to be recognized. You two are going to be able to come back into balance with four pentacles on either side of this loyalty ribbon here. Okay. You have faith in each other. You have trust in each other. You know that you can work through this. You see this with the Ace of Swords, okay? The truth is the truth. Life is painful sometimes, but we get to choose how we see those painful situations. And you're seeing it clearly, but you're choosing to temper it with love. You, you've got the Empress energy here, so... 
I'm hearing that you are stepping into your power. You could be the parent of, your, of the children, male or female. It does not matter. Okay. The Empress energy is about giving and receiving exactly what is, you know, you desire. And not worrying about how things work out. You trust the universe to bring you exactly what you need. Okay. And again, we've got the uh, Venus symbol here. So this is done with ultimate love, unconditional love. And then you've got the Ten of Cups right below this Empress Energy card here, which is telling me you are headed for happiness and joy and finding your peace within your own home. I mean, things are repaired. Things go well. You're, this relationship is going to go on for a very long time. Okay? Beautiful energy here. Beautiful message for you. Absolutely love this. Especially after that other reading I did this morning. That, that one was rough. Four of Cups, Queen of Wands, and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you've been through the battles. Okay? And the Queen of Wands is here to say, you know what? I know who I am. I'm charismatic. I'm bold. I'm daring. I'm going to go for this. I'm going to take all of the three cups, celebrations, disappointments, whatever's in those three cups, and I'm going to pour them into my own. And you're going to take and make whatever you can from it. I'm hearing if you're, if you're dealt lemonades or lemons, you're going to make lemonade. I just heard something else, but it went out the window as I was listening to the tail end of it. The beginning went out the window. Um, yeah, you're not giving up on this relationship. You are determined to take control of the situation, okay? And you're going to just let the regrets or happiness, whatever, the good and the bad, you're pouring it all into one cup. It is your life, and you're saying, I respect this person, this relationship, and I just want to keep it, okay? We want to keep this relationship. Let's get you a talisman oracle here. Or Oh, did you hear that? I heard Spirit say it right out loud. Let's get you a talisman oracle as I was looking for a different oracle deck. So let's see what Spirit wants to tell you using the talisman oracle. A lot, but only two cards turned upright, so we're going to take those two. On the bottom of the deck, I do have to point out, there is a rebirth. So this will transform, this relationship will transform. You have good luck, okay? You have good fortune on your side, good luck and divine guidance. Oh my goodness. Spirit is saying, definitely read that right from the book. I sure will. The divine guidance came up first, so I'm going to read that to you. It's best to watch out for a sign before moving forward. You are ready to enjoy the fruits of your hard work. Okay, that's the Eight of Pentacles here. But don't decide to embrace any one aspect of your life just yet. Wait for a little bit more information before making that choice. This card can also mean that it's best to use your intuition to make the final judgment call rather than using your rational mind. So you're starting here with this, but to end by trusting your intuition. Use your rational mind to come up with solutions um, to talk to your person. Okay, swords are about communication. All right, although it may be frustrating to wait, proceeding when the time is right will be much more rewarding. Absolutely. So I, th I feel there's a solution here. Spirit's saying there's a solution, okay? You can use the energy of this card when you feel at a crossroad or when you need a sign. Self-doubt can be overpowering, but waiting for the right time might be necessary at this juncture. The frog stays still before getting ready to re-energize. Imagine being the frog and patiently waiting for the right moment. If waiting feels hard, try focusing your attention on all the sounds in nature that the frog might be hearing or what you actually might be hearing. <clears throat> all right, good luck. Good luck. This says, luck is with you and with everything that you touch. This is a very positive card that indicates growth and increased potential. The currents are in your favor. 
And if you act upon your wishes, you will benefit greatly. It's up to you to channel this good fortune. The circles on the card form the number eight right here, okay? Eight is an auspicious number and a symbol of new beginnings. And we saw rebirth on the bottom of the deck. You're reviving this beautiful relationship. Yes, it's got to change. Nothing can be exactly the same. Minute to minute, things change. Fate will take a strong hand and redirect your path in a very positive way. Okay, divine guidance here. What you do after this shift is within your own hands, within your own power, your decisions. Okay, use this card when you need a little extra stardust from your projects and for your projects and ventures or in your relationships. You can also use this card if you're feeling a bit short on luck right now. Imagine the circle spinning slowly and the light ladybug fluttering around the flowers. You are attracting them. And you feel their, them tickling, you feel their tickling feet landing on your hand and the magic swirling all around. Your mantra for this is, I attract good luck. Love that message for you. And again, I'm going to show you, you have a rebirth on the bottom. So this relationship will get through this test. Answer number one with the number die, yes or no. One through five is no. Six through 12 is yes, unless you want to repeat verse that. You've got an 11 and that is a yes. You also have 5, 9, and 3. All right, answer number 2, yes or no, is a 1. You have 5, 6, and 11. That's 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. Woo, yes. Everything will fall into place just as it's meant to. All right, you've got an 11, which is a yes answer. You also have 5, 9, 12. And seven. Okay. All right. Until our energy crosses again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.